Ain't nobody going on no food this week. Ain't nobody going on no food this week. I think that's also a part of my motivation in wanting to get back in the gym because I am not about to be. She said she was good, so I was good. But then when we got in the car, she was like, oh, I'm nervous. I was like, oh, shit, now I'm scared again. I don't like no cop cheese. She said, we don't want no cop cheese. What? No cop Is going on beautiful people welcome or welcome back to another weekly vlog in the channel just for tv i'm your favorite cousin jess and y'all this week we got so much going on it's back to school at the end of the week which is weird i don't know why they forcing them kids to go back to school like so late in the week they might as well just had to wait until monday besides that just the preparation of getting things together to go back to school as far as getting gia's school supplies together getting her book bag together going to the grocery store to get lunches and snacks doing her hair picking out her first outfit for the first day what rising second grader first day of second grade starts this thursday so it is monday i am getting a bit of a late start today it is 10 22 but oh well got some deodorant on my shirt i did pick up this new little workout top it's like a sweat shirt so it has the blue material in it which basically just makes me sweat my ass off and it really just makes me feel like i'm doing something and i really love that for me but along with this sweat shirt sweat best i also picked up some new workout sets because i really think i want to get back into the gym i want to get back into the gym simply because gia is going back to school so i will have more time in the day to actually get to the gym get a good workout in more so than i have been doing here like it takes me so much time to just get into the mood get into the groove i feel like if i go to the gym i can knock out a beast ass workout in like 40 to 45 minutes because number one i'm motivated number two i'm paying for it so boom i think i might get back into the gym i think i'm gonna look into the plans and such probably later on today but i want to show you guys these workout sets that i picked up real quick so first is this one set from ross this is la image and it's just a little teal and gray and this is pants with the matching bra let bra i don't know and this is the back it has a little coin hole or whatever in it so that's one set here is the second set it's like a green shiny material it does have a little cell phone pocket on the pants and these are the pants really cute with the matching bra and this one is is this one shoulder oh it is yeah, so it has the thicker strap here, and then it has a couple smaller straps for the back. Just kind of plain or whatever. So I thought that was really cute. And then another green set, just not as shiny. I think this is by Jessica Simpson, maybe. This one came from Marshalls. And this material is kind of on the thicker side, but it also still feels kind of airy. Like, I like this band that's kind of on the thicker side because that means like it's not gonna roll down too much and these kind of flare out at the bottom they're not straight leg so they flare out at the bottom and it has a little slit on the front on each pant leg and then this bra is not a part of a set with this but i just thought it was really cute and i thought it matched so i picked this up little bralette and this is the back and the reason why i went with like bralette sets is simply because the way this sweat thing fits i kind of wanted no fabric on all of my skin so that i could really sweat so that's kind of the reason why i went with like bralette sets because 
on a normal day. I'm too big for that. And up next, this also is not a set. It's kind of just like pants I saw and then I saw the bra. So I kind of just put them together when I got home. So these pants are flare like pants. They don't have any pockets. They're just kind of some basic workout pants. Really airy, dry fit material. And the bra that I got to pair with those pants is just this one. And this is the back. All of this stuff was, the most expensive was, I want to say that Jessica Simpson green one, not the shiny one. That was $16 and everything else as far as a set goes was either $6.99 or $5.99. And then the individual bras that I kind of just paired with pants were either $6 or $5. And then the pants were either $6 or $5. So steel and then the last new set that i haven't worn yet is just this black pants set it has a little cell phone pockets it's also kind of like that shiny material as well and it has a little bit of a chevron design in it it also came with a jacket which i've already worn because i wanted to and then the little bralette just has love around the band and this is the back of it, it has a little keyhole I guess you would call that. I don't know. These are all my workout sets. It's really like getting me something is making my eye burn. I started using the super goop sunscreen and I think I got it in my eye. But it's really working for my face. I really like it. But these are the workout sets that I got. Really excited about getting back into the gym. Really excited about shedding some pounds. I am actually about to go outside and work out right now. So let's go. Working every day, I'm stressed out 24 7, babe. No, no timeouts. Wish we could fly away. You and I go to our favorite place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make special memories together. I'll be your company. shower complete y'all i have been obsessed with going to starbucks and getting the bacon and gruyere egg bites however i went to uh, walmart i believe it was the other day and i stumbled upon this cheese and i was like oh it's real soft i can shred it up cut it up i can make them bacon egg gruyere bites myself got my eggs got my cheese i got some bacon and some sausage that i made for breakfast yesterday and also i believe the recipe calls for cottage cheese i want to say let me check yes the recipe calls for cottage cheese however Oh, no thought to eat it. So I'm going to try and replace it with some sour cream and hope that she comes together. They're gonna be good. They're gonna be good. Let's do this. From a ghost town where we never feel high to slow. We won't ever come down. We won't ever come down though. Feeling the sun on my face in a white. so cousin funny story so i signed you up for cheerleading and shorty's like oh mom you should be the coach oh yeah bet i'll be doing that little prissy stuff uh, mm, 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 go mm, fight we uh, no no nothing nothing about cheerleading fuck it i'm gonna apply let's see child and gave me the head coaching position oh <laughs> chilling coach y'all so essentially what i need to do is reach out to the squad and i need to plan out our first practice which is going to happen at some point this week spirit fingers 
that is a part of the reason in me wanting to get back into the gym because I ain't about to be big mama. Jerry, oh, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine. No, mama, hey, Mickey, like, no, you know, snatched and put together. Mm, mm, mm. I've been doing my research, you know, I've been doing my homework, so I know the basic motions. We have a high V, we have a low V, we have a clap, we have our hands on our hips, we have a T, we have a punch, we have a broken T, we have our daggers, touchdown, go fight, win. But yeah, I've been doing my research, so I'm excited to just get out here and really get a little bit more active. It also gives me time to spend more bonding time and stuff with Gia. But I think that is it. At some point, probably tomorrow, Definitely tomorrow, I'm gonna to be getting Gia's stuff together for school, making sure she has every last single one of her school supplies, putting her name on her shit because no offense to anybody who can't afford or doesn't have the means to get their kids all their school supplies. I'm not talking about nobody but Jessica with what my lifestyle handles and I'm affording to afford my child. That's it, that's all. That's all I'm saying. Comment down below about how you guys feel about that. Yes, I'm all about giving back. Yes, I'm all about giving to charity. However, I feel like with the schools, the difference is they will tell you what to bring and then they'll put everything in a shared bin. If I would have known that everything was going to go in a shared bin, I wouldn't have gotten name brand school supplies because I got the name brand school supplies specifically because my daughter is going to be the one who's using them. If you needed extra school supplies for other students who didn't have the means to get them, yes, I can absolutely go out and get some school supplies. However, I'm not about to buy the most expensive school supplies is all I'm saying. Like, I don't know how y'all feel about that. It does sound kind of harsh. However, like I said, say what you mean and mean what you say. If my child's stuff is going to be going into a shared bin, let me know that. I won't go out and spend $10 on one composition notebook. I'll go out and get 10 composition notebooks for $10. Make sense? Boom, bam, wow, we got it. But I think I have three emails. This ain't for me. Now we down to two. Who that for? Up. Oh. Every Monday at 12.30. That ain't my fault. Mm -mm -mm. Bro, you late as hell. All right, I can do that. Send him this little report that I was supposed to send about two hours ago. The meeting that he had was at 12.30. It is 2.30. I am sorry, friend. That ain't my fault. Also, what I would like to do today is at least contact, because there's 15 girls on the squad, 15 including Gia, so I need to contact 14 girls and I was going to split it up in between seven today, seven tomorrow. And I reached out to the head coach of the football team to which, you know, we'll be cheering for and just basically trying to get a gauge on when he's going to be having his practices. Just because as a parent, I know that some of the girls on the squad have siblings who's going to be playing football. So it's just easier for that mother to just bring both of them kids to one spot, break, cheer, football, we practice, let's leave. The last thing that I'm gonna do is start taking Gia's hair out and at least wash it so that we could just do it tomorrow. So then Wednesday, Shorty could literally just sit on her ass and contemplate her life because it's no more sleeping in, no more staying up late. The iPad will be gone at nine o'clock. The TV timer will be set to go off at 10 o'clock, nine night type deal. Those are the vibes. <laughs> damn warning went off for this tornado warning that they have and I didn't drop my damn camera and my screen it's not messed up it's not messed up but it doesn't close all the way but I'm gonna just roll with it it's, it's gonna be what it's gonna be I was upstairs just getting some flashlights and stuff together so we should be fine if the power does happen to go out I'm also charging my portable battery pack I'm charging my phone charging my camera and I need to charge my laptop just in case and I need to charge my tablet as well because we need entertainment, just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> it's time to try the Greek air bites. It's not giving Starbucks, but it's good. Mm. It's really good. The egg hit and the sausage. This is good. 
Mm. I think this is great for breakfast, lunch, snack. <laughs> All of that. But it's just a good meal prep, especially to the gym store every day. This will be perfect for school. No. <laughs> this will be perfect for school. Hmm. But it is now 4.15. Hopefully, you know, a lot of these parents are possibly at home. If not, they on the train. If not, they in the carpool. They about to get a call from Coach Jess because <laughs> I need to set up my first practice. So that's what I'm about to do. All right guys, so I made contact with the squad. It is 5.48, about to finish my glass of wine and TJ's gonna figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner and it's just gonna be a chill night. So yeah, I'm gonna call y'all back tomorrow. Bye. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Just ate my breakfast Gia ate her breakfast And now we're about to tackle her hair Pray for me So started parting her hair in the middle part and the part in the back and now I'm just trying to figure out exactly what style I want to do but instead of trying to film it and figure it out at the same time I'm gonna just show y'all once we done. This is the end result. I kind of just tied it up in these two little Nubian knots. Do you like them? Yes. Oh, so you want to leave them? Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, I'm going to dip the ends, but I think I want to curl the two in the front just because they are so long. But this is the style that I did. I'm still working on my parting. You guys, don't come for me in the comments. And I'm also still working on my feed in to the corn roll at the start. Her only request were the two braids coming down in the front. So I kind of just freestyled the back. I think this part came out so cute All right here. It's real basic, but I don't know. It just adds a little bit of detail to the back. It's real aesthetically pleasing. Hey, Jessica. Did it. But yeah, I'm about to dip the ends of her hair and then whip up a quick dinner and probably call it a night because I've just been doing hair all day and I'm gonna sit my buns on the couch. So that's what I'm gonna do.
I just got out the shower, threw a load of clothes in the washing machine, and it is now 12.50, and yesterday, Christina, shout out to her. She normally takes Gia before the first day of school to get a pedicure. That's their little thing, that's their little ritual. However, because the way school starts, this go around school starts on a thursday so by the time she gets off she's gonna be a little bit too late for me to take gia out get her nails done i'm trying to have shorty wind down and relaxing by six o'clock and knocked out by eight so chrissy just sent money so that she could get her pedicure done so that is what we're about to do so let's hop to it <laughs> up at the nail salon Gia's nails look cute her toes look cute so now we are about to go to Walmart I gotta get a few things I gotta get her some stuff for vacation I need to get some groceries for dinner tonight and then I'm gonna take her to Starbucks because she's obsessed with cake pops so and a frappuccino with for y'all before all my ice cream melt. Gia wanted some of these outshine fruit bars. We needed some sides for dinner. I saw this and I really wanted to try it. So got some bread, needed some more turkey, got some romaine lettuce, got a Roma tomato, some avocados, got some croutons. And along with the zebra cake ice cream, I also saw the fudge round ice cream. So I picked that up as well as the oatmeal cream pie ice cream. So I picked that up too, just because I wanted to try it all. We ran out of mayo. Had to get some chicken. Got Gia some vitamins. I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then I'm gonna boil the chicken. And then we're gonna put together her book bag because <laughs> it's 2.45. School to my. Might be right. Either you feel it or you don't. Might give it a try. Yeah. Our bodies collide. Baby, you're everything I want. Let's give it some time. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>
shorts that I really want to wear with this pink shirt that I want to wear to school tomorrow. And but I also want to wear this. I have to pick one. Oh. Time to get to Scoogie Cookie Cookie. Why are you up? Cause. The child is at school for her first day. Um, I don't know, she said she was nervous this morning, but every day up until today, she was like, she good, she good. So she said she was good, so I was good. But then when we got in the car, she was like, oh, I'm nervous. I was like, ah, oh, shit, now I'm scared again. But she's actually going to a brand new school this year. So that is the cause of our anxiety and our nervousness, but Gia is resilient. Gia is a really good social person. Gia can talk her way out of any situation. She's the best. She's gonna do great. So I ain't worried about Gia. Don't worry about me. Pray for me. Okay, pray for me. It looks like it's about to rain, but I don't care. I'm about to go outside, get a quick workout in, come back in, shower. I think I got some emails. And I need to edit. I need to edit. Cause I've really been slacking on my editing. So yeah. Those are my plans for today. Then Gia gets out of school around three o'clock. Go scoop her up. And then today is the first day of cheer practice. So <laughs> I think that's a part of my anxiety as well too, but I'm running with it. I'm running with it all. I just literally been working all day. It is now 209 and I want to run to the Dollar Tree and see if they have any mosquito bands. We're going to be out in the grass and then once I leave Dollar Tree, I'm just going to head straight to the school and get Gia. Hopefully she had a good day. We going to see. Number one, people are weird. <laughs> Number two, I only found three packs of the mosquito wipes. I did find like a little pack of the um, antibacterial, you know, just quick throw it on, but I didn't, I didn't see a point in standing in line if they didn't have everything that I needed. Number three, it is raining. So I'm really not sure if I'm even going to have the practice. I know I need to make a decision very, very soon, but um, I don't know. I don't know y'all. Yeah, we're gonna see. But I'm just gonna head to the school and I don't know. I'm gonna let y'all know. Home from school. First day of school is complete. She said she had a good day. It is 3.42. About to change Gia's clothes and probably just gonna sit for a little bit before we gotta leave. But can't take y'all with me because yeah. um yeah, how them parents feel about their kid being on, you know, YouTube, so. I'm gonna either holler at y'all when I get back or I'm gonna holler at y'all tomorrow. Either way, I'm gonna call y'all back. Thank you. Woohoo. So we are back from the chili ding. Ooh, it was fun, y'all. My little squad. They funny. I know kids are funny. Like my kid, she funny as hell. But it's something about other people's kids being funny because I can just laugh and joke and rile them up and send them right on home. 
that's the beauty of it all but they were really cool i need to learn their names because i just be calling everybody friend i almost slipped up and called them cousin i taught them emotion drill and we went over one cheer and yeah them girls ain't got no focus though they wanted to run laps so we was out there running laps got a whole second workout in which i'm quite thankful for because sis needs it but we are home i stopped and got gia some mcdonald's so i'm about to take her up here she's gonna wash her hands she's gonna eat dinner she's gonna get in the bathtub she's gonna pick out her outfit for school tomorrow and sis going to bed i'm gonna hop in the shower myself and i'm probably just going to edit for the rest of the night try to get this video done because I kind of took another hiatus, y'all. I've been filming, I just haven't been posting. I got videos in the cut that just need to be edited and. I'ma need safety, tell her I can't snake me. Ray gun on safety, my girl so tasty. Tell her it's your world, she want the two-tone space. It's Friday, cousin. I feel like I ain't getting no sleep, so. Got my eye patches on. We are up. It is eight o'clock. She is dressed. About to make her some breakfast. We got 20 minutes before we need to leave. It's gonna be a fantastic day. Blow smoke screen daily, so the stress don't face me. I'm going, I keep it factual. I'm on sabbatical. I'm out in Central America. I need a break from hysteria. Park like the one with the carousel. I get it. Are you excited? Second day of school? Yeah. So How's life? Do you good, feel? But long. And I wouldn't go to sleep, but I'm lucky I have no school tomorrow. I get to stay up all night and don't gotta worry about getting up. Gia, Gia, wake up. Go brush your teeth and stuff. You get two minutes. You better stop. So you got the six freaking hours. Don't say freaking. It's not that. You have a good day, but you guys don't got no school. You guys 28 years old. That part. Uh, 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 uh. All right, it is 8.40. I don't know what's wrong with this. Just made it back home. I'm gonna go in here, take these off, put my sneakers on, put on my fanny pack, and go for my ride. Let's do it. Ooh, cousin. Don't ask what's going on with my hair. It's just all shriveled up and yeah, I don't know. But I'm about to do something with it. Probably just do a little slick back and throw it in a bun. Something simple. It's 10.42. Showered. Got a good run in. It was a really good run. I lost my taser though, so... And I don't run again until Monday, so it'll probably be long gone by then. Really sad about that, but I'll probably just go on Amazon and order another one because I just don't feel safe without it, you know, running by myself. So about to do my hair. We're about to run to the store. I need to get some ground markers for my squad because they act like they don't know how to stay in formation. Like get in line. So I might end up ordering those off of Amazon too, along with my taser. But I just want to go look and see what I can find. I need to get another purse, just like a crossbody, medium size. But let me do something with my head real quick. Oh Jesus. It's 9:21 and we are up at them getting it. And we are headed to the gymnasium to go get a good workout in. So let's go. A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. 
And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really wanna make you mine. Many hours later, after the gym, everybody's showered and such. <laughs> Bless you. Right now, we are headed to the mall to see if we can get TJ's bracelet replaced for the fourth time. Birds. Fifth time. And then, I don't know what we're doing after that, but y'all gonna be with us, so let's go. I'm buzzing, let's drink up. You does look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on like that. All right, cousin, so we went to the mall because TJ broke his bracelet for the 10th time. But I'm about to run into TJ Maxx. And I'm also stolen because they hot and I turned the arrow. I know, trying to make us <laughs> melt in here. Because they don't want to go in the store with me. Solo mission, cousin. I'm going to call y'all back when I get out, though. No, you got cousins with you. I'm not taking cousin. I'm gonna call them back. Yeah. I'm gonna call you back too. Something I know that you want it. Come on, give me something. The night is young, and so are we. So maybe you should leave with me. The night is young, and so are we, baby. The night is young, so let's have some fun. If you love back downstairs do y'all reuse y'all lashes i think i'm gonna try these one more time but i must have lost so i lost a ring last night which is not terribly sad because it wasn't like an expensive ring it was like one of those pandora rings but i lost it nonetheless and it doesn't suck any less so i did end up finding a purse yesterday the type of bag that i was looking for i found it online found one at new york and company but it was the nano which was just too small it's the brand my tag along but i think the bag was regular like 60 dollars. but new york company had it on sale for like i think the price was like 36 dollars or something and then they also have them on amazon as well but they weren't on sale and they had the mini and the nano the nano on amazon was 60 dollars regular price and the mini on amazon was 70 dollars regular price so i found it at burlington first of all i was so surprised that i even saw these bags in there when i saw i was like what is it oh that's the bag i've been looking for it's the nano and it was only 10 freaking 99 this is a 60 dollar bag y'all and i don't know if y'all could tell how it's tiny like this is my hand and this is the bag like this bag is tiny Tiny. So I really don't know where I'm going with it, but I just really like the style of it. I like the material. So this will be my little bag or whatever for vacay. And then I also ran across this green one as well. That is all folks. That is the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this week. It was kind of a spontaneous week. I did a lot of pre planned stuff, but then I also did a lot of stuff that I had no idea that I was going to do. Like, I normally don't be moving and shaking like that on the regular. I like to stick to a schedule. Or I like to know what's happening before it happens. So, those are the vibes. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank y'all so much for spending this week with me. And as you know, if you're a real one, then I will be seeing you in my next one. Peace, y'all.